Hello, I'm Elaine, and uh, welcome to Simply Draw. I'm really glad you're here. And just while I ramble, how about you run around and get your piece of scrap paper. Today I'm just going to, I have this envelope, I'm going to draw on the back, and get your pen. No pencil, remember, because if you practice your drawing with a pencil, you're going to end up practicing all uh, your erasing. <laughs> so you're going to spend more time <laughs> erasing your attempts than uh, actually having pen to paper and and uh, drawing. And since we want to learn, drawing is what we have to do. So you're probably organized by now, which is great. And um, today I thought we would try drawing this little downy woodpecker. Now, um, looks complicated. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'm sure it won't go well, but anyway. <laughs> um, I, what, what I like to do when I start is look at the distinguishing features of the bird so that we incorporate enough of those distinguishing features in our little sketch so that it's kind of recognizable. And remember, if it's not, then you can say to people, look at the downy woodpecker that I drew <laughs> so that they know what they're supposed to say. So first of all, um, have a look at this right here at the top of the bill. It's kind of like this little patch of fuzz. So that's kind of interesting. The crest here doesn't lie flat, but it doesn't stick out as much as, as a cardinal. So we want to make sure that we've got this fuzzy bit at the back of the head. The next thing that I notice is that the bird is very thick through the body. They're kind of a, a stocky bird, a little bit heavy. So we want to make sure that we, in our proportions, try to capture that degree of thickness and stockiness. And have a look at how wide the tail is. That's because it's typically used as a brace against the trunk as the bird is, is digging for insects in the bark and, and whatnot. So th this thick tail, we want to make sure we sort of capture that as well. So I don't know, that's, that's good enough. Oh, and actually this came off Shutterstock. I, I love Shutterstock. I guess <laughs> all sorts of pictures and uh, inventory in there. And I just, um, it's one place that I, I go for, for photos and just uh, print them off on my lousy printer with all the lines through it and stuff. But jeepers, this is, uh, you know, it's, it, we're trying to learn how to draw here. We're not, uh, it's called Simply Draw, not Simply Draw a Masterpiece. So it's, it's good enough for our purposes, in my opinion. So as you know, I like to start right here at the top of the bill. So what, what we should try to capture is this little bump here and then into the head. So I have to make sure that I don't hit the camera and that there's enough space for me to sort of like embarrass myself so that you can actually see. But let's just, okay, is the pen working? Gosh, it's always like tricky getting started. Good. Can you see that? That right there? That's the little bump over the bill. Good enough for me. Let's, oh, you're keeping up, right? So you're embarrassing yourself just as much as I am, I hope. But maybe if we take our time and do something respectable, it'll end up being good enough to go on top of the fridge. 
not on top on well out of sight on top I don't know that's kind of and see how the the um the fuzziness at the back of the head and it's very thick through the the neck doesn't really show very much so we want to try to have a short section there at the back of the head and then it's going to go straight into the back now i just want to make sure that with the front of the bill here and then the back of the head over here i've actually recently just learned to sort of pay more attention to this we want to make sure that things line up okay so this is the front of the bill on one finger and we've got the back of the head over here oh dust from just finishing my shower uh, see it's how it's down a little bit and then this is where we're going to start the back of the bird now if we're not happy with the angle of the head and the feathers here we can sort of fix that up later and this is going to be the back go down here for the back now um, as you know I get easily confused with where I am in the picture so I use my finger as a marker and I'm going to use my finger here to mark this section under the throat keep me aligned in where I am and then go back here this part to start going into the breast now the other thing to keep in mind is that any photograph is going to be slightly distorted and then we're not great at drawing so we're making more distortions so if we try really hard to follow what's going on in the picture it, that's gonna like even more screw up what we're doing in our sketch so I think it's important just to sort of like keep an open mind and it's like remember where you are in the bird so this is like the the breast here we're gonna go down like that and keep in mind that we can't draw it exactly like the photograph because first of all we're learning and if we just wanted to do something as good as the photograph then all we do is like print off a bunch of the pictures, right? And say, look what M. Shirani did. Isn't it great? Instead, we're gonna dick around and try practicing with our drawing. Now let's just go and do the bill over here. Oh, see, I'm not looking at the camera to see where I'm, I'm located for you guys to watch, follow along. And we're gonna do this little um, line here to mark off the bill and then we're gonna do this fuzzy patch that goes around the top of the bill and comes down here like that I think this should be a little bit longer okay so now if we look at this fuzzy patch in the photograph so I'm using this finger to keep me oriented we'll see that the eye is very close to it so let's just put that in and what I've found is that it's almost easier to go bigger in error and then you can like make it smaller rather than doing it too small and then you've sort of like shaded in around it and then you actually wanted to make the eyeball bigger and you can't because there's it's already been darkened around it so let's put in our remember to put in our little white dot where the the light has reflected off the curve of the eyeball and we'll just and also make sure that you do that too big as well so that if you if you draw it too big it's okay to darken it down 
but if it's too small because you don't have an eraser <laughs> you're not allowed to make it it's too hard to make it bigger okay so we've got the eye in there we can leave those white sp uh, spots around it And then the next thing we want to do is just put in some of these distinguishing markings around the face and the head. And then we'll go around and we'll fix it, okay? Because trust me, it'll need fixing. So I have to keep myself in position here. And what we're going to do first is this kind of like blackish patch on the head. So from here, we just want to go up, go white, and round, and that's, that's good enough. And we'll just kind of like get this dark in here. I ditched my Sharpie because it was kind of like drying out and it was getting really sporadic and then it would leave a whole bunch of ink and then no ink and and whatnot so it was really kind of like you know when you're not great at drawing anyway and then you have something that, <laughs> that doesn't cooperate it was not a good combination so then I found this black pen and I don't like using a black pen in my paperwork so this was perfect and then let's just darken in the bill a little bit okay See, I think the eye is too big. Now, we've got the white patch here above the eye, and we've got the black patch around. So let's get this black patch in to the back of the head. And then from the eye, it comes down kind of like a V. He's got this little white patch on his cheek. So let's get this as black as well. Remember to, if you can, leave little white bits around his eye for markings. Every birdie's a little bit different, including the birdie that you're drawing. So no pressure at all. And if you don't like what you've done, you're going to start again. There. See? Isn't that kind of cute? And we'll just do some little a line there because this should be red for the male. And I don't think the females have much of a marking on the back of the head. I could be wrong. Okay. So now let's just do a little bit of black underneath his chin and coming down. And we want to make sure we have this white patch under his cheek. It goes here and then around where his back starts. Well, that's not too bad, eh? I mean, it's not horrible. But see how difficult it is to get the correct proportions and the proper angle, blah, blah, blah. So that's what I mean when I say that there's distortions in the photograph and then our skill is you know <laughs> minimum so it's like super hard to make it look bloody fantastic but we're not going for fantastic let's do his white see the white throat and this we want this line here to come around and it goes into his wing. And this is the part where it goes there into his wing. Back like that. Let's see what I'm doing. And this one is kind of like enough we're doing this part down here 
We'll worry about the markings on the back later, but we just kind of want to get oriented properly with proportions. The chest, see, look how nice and thick our bird is. So in my sketch, I think the head is too big and the body's too small. That is classic, <laughs> classic Elaine boo-boo. And the way you can like fudge it is by like making the wings longer and and making the bird heavier in different places but I know you don't judge me okay let's see if we can properly position his like the wing comes in oh gosh see all this is wrong but we can just Put in his tail and we're just going to do the black part okay we're going to do the black part and the, the white feathers we can sketch in later we just want to stay oriented to where he should be no talking honey I'm trying to make a video like this and these feathers at the bottom of his tail are kind of like see how ragged they are that's because the tail is constantly used as a brace against the base of the the trunk of the tree. So these feathers tend to get a little beat, beat up. But we can do ragged. Let's do this all black so that we can just see. Keep ourselves positioned with where, where we are in the photo. And then we can just add in the paler external feathers. Not, uh, I guess they'd be underlying. Okay. Gosh, I bet yours looks better than mine. I'm proud of you for being here and keeping me company as I simply screw up. So see how the tail and the tummy comes in here and then you don't really see too much of his bum here, right? Don't see too much of the birdie bum. And we could just add in all these little curves for the feathers and let's if we just try to get the marking in for his back this large white patch in the center of the back is very typical but let's see if we can try to position it see how in the photograph this white patch kind of lines up with the center of the tail which means that should be from my picture more like that but here we are, classic example of how errors in the drawing mean that you kind of reach a point where you can no longer really follow the photograph. I um, tried drawing a loon once. Holy cow. These birdies with all the darn little dots in the markings. Disaster. So with this guy, in when I actually did another sketch, I thought like little circles is good enough. It just gives you the impression of the white markings. Just remember, we're called simply draw. So as long as we leave small white patches for markings in the wing, then people will know, oh yeah, I know exactly what that is. 
this isn't too lousy. It's a cute little birdie. Okay, now his little foot. That's tricky. And we can leave it out if you like. Oh, even deeper. That's lazy. I can't believe I said it. But see, in the photograph, it's super hard to, to tell. But his foot is actually here under his tummy. And there's one claw here. But wait a second. There's a tiny little... He's got a toe here and a claw here. So that would be like really hard to duplicate. But what we, what we can... Uh, pay attention to in the photograph is the position of the foot. You don't want to put it too high because they don't have long legs. So if you put the toes up here, that would mean that his leg is like long and bendy and coming like this, and it's not. So as long as we do some kind of like toe and claw down here, that's good enough, right? And then the rest of his foot is underneath his tummy. Well, how's that? We'll do our tree with our bark. Now remember, if yours looks better than mine, you're not going to have to give any verbal cues to people who are looking at it. But if yours looks not as cute as mine, you can say to your friends or family, look at the little downy woodpecker that I drew today. So, thanks for keeping me company. I've recently ordered some high-end, super expensive um, Prisma pencil crayons because with some of my sketches I've been trying to do cards with Lil Birdie on them just because I feel like it would be super super great for people to have little cards with original artwork to give to friends so anyway maybe if I get brave enough I'll show you some of the cards that I've made but okay Look, I don't know. It's like a four out of ten as far as I'm concerned. I think he's cute. So um, thank you for spending time with me. Thank you. I'm like super grateful. So have a good day. Take care of yourself. And I will see you next time.